If you're looking to publish or write a novel, bookwiz.io is the one for you. Today we're going to be exploring bookwiz. It is a AI powered ebook creator. So it is supposed to help you write and organize your novel faster. Um, AI tools are designed to help you not necessarily cheat you through the way, but um, in this video, we're going to walk through the process, trying it out, seeing if it's, if it's good or not. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below because I am a writer and I just like to write for fun. Um, but I'm excited to see what this offers because what's the difference between this and what's the difference between um, ChatGPT, for example, like using that to help me write. Um, so let's let's get started. We're going to go ahead and click on try now. All right, so I signed up with my email, sent a verification link, and then logged in, and this is what you get. So it looks like the dashboard is very simple and easy to use. There's a new book on the left here, the untitled um, library and tokens. You get 25,000 tokens uh, for confirming your email. So I'm not sure who that is just yet. I'm, I'm doing this with not much information. So uh, here we have uh, state the genre themes are setting to be explored summarize the main conflict of the storyline includes desired characters or, or tropes um, save regenerate name okay um, overview and main idea huh so type a brief summary of your book idea hmm so let's say i want to write a book about zombies so let's say zombies apocalyptic world uh, uh zombie soldiers <laughs> uh and zombie dogs in north america and let's see what that does for me so suggestion here so in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by zombies, a group of survivors must navigate their way through North America while facing the relentless onslaught of zombie soldiers and zombie dogs. As they journey through the desolate and dangerous landscape, they discover that zombie outbreak may not be as simple as virus gone wrong. Slowly, they uncover layers of government conspiracies and shady experiments that may have led to the end of the world as they know it. With danger lurking around every corner and stakes higher than ever, the survivors must band together and fight for survival, while deciding if they are willing to risk everything to uncover the truth behind the zombie apocalypse. Interesting. See, now I'm, I'm curious to see if, if you were to type this again, is it going to be randomized? And what are the chances of somebody getting the same exact thing, right? Are we going to get into trouble? <laughs> Unless this is where everybody's going on strike, because... Now people think they can write and use AI to write, you know, movies and scripts and everything. But I don't know. Like I think creativity can also help. But I'm just going to click on accept suggestion and see what else they have to offer. Um, title, let's call this the, let's call this something. So accept this suggestion. It's untitled. Why don't we just call this something else? Let's call this the Zombie World. I actually don't know how to rename this. Hmm. If I were to delete this, it's going to de delete the entire book. Okay. Maybe that's not where we want to go. But I did notice that we used some tokens there. Um, theme. Let's see. It's a drama filled book, but still a comedy. Let's spend right on that and see what they have. Um, the, the human ability to adapt and find humor in the face of adversity. Okay. Um, let's just accept it. As weird as it is, you never know. This might be the New York's bestseller. Um, setting so in a world that is post apocalyptic uh, set in the 1990s right so why not just, just generate that and see what they got 
the year is 1990x okay so you get to choose the year i guess um i mean so far the writing is not bad like it makes sense because there's instances where i've used like ai writing and um, copywriting just for ideas and it just never makes sense whatsoever but the language seems to flow and it seems to make sense i don't think it's it's not too bad in terms of like helping you plan out your book um i don't think it's designed to to really like go out there and write the book itself it's just there on to help you um so characters so why don't we just say main character is a dude from mars uh female character is a a crazy cat lady who is only 20, 25 years old. Uh, main character has a son who who is also twenty five years old. Okay, click on. What if I put Jen? Give me their names and then see if that actually helps me write the name okay so nathan is 30 he's tall and lean okay personality background motivations okay this is building up the character and to be fair this is okay if you want to get some ideas and then mix things around add your own trade right so let's say you're writing a book about in this example a zombie apocalypse maybe that person is always very very shy right that's something that you can always add in and if you type it in the generator here it should add that in for you um this is a little bit incorrect because the main character is supposed to be uh the third character's dad but he's only five years older uh, in some world that might work but i'm not he is from planet mars or whatever it was let's see it doesn't take everything that you give it though like it didn't say that he is from planet mars oh yeah never mind he was born on mars and has been living on earth for the past few years trying to survive that zombie apocalypse for whatever reason um there's crazy cat lady down there there's no <laughs> there's no name it's just called crazy cat lady um but they did build out somebody here so they gave samantha a full-on appearance wise I think that's good so if you're struggling building side characters and you don't know where to go this might be a really good option um, we can also try chat GPT to see what they give us but for now I think this one is so far is okay it's it's not bad um, and then we're gonna go next plot so it's gonna be government conspiracy government created zombies from failed experiments experiments uh, with aliens okay so let's generate that it's a it's a novel about zombies and aliens <laughs> because the crazy encounter with crazy cat lady I, I can't believe they stuck with the name um i'm sure that if i change the name in the others before accepting the suggestion it would have um, updated it for me but i think the name works in this example here really easy to see um and it generates pretty fast like i'm i'm not like somebody who has like the best internet around but to be able to see this um it is way faster it's a great tool for brainstorming and you want to do the work too like you don't want to sit there and be like give me give me give me ideas right you want to be like here's some of my ideas let's let's figure out what to do with it and that this is like a something that helps you get there um and i'm assuming that since you have tokens you can keep doing this over and over again um gpt3 so perhaps this is from chat gpt and Again, like even the way that it is, everything still makes sense and it flows well. Um, uh, and it gives you the formula of a novel. So whoever designed this is actually 
creating it so that you get like your plot, your title, your themes, your setting, your characters, and each of them has elements that creates that novel or that story and that hook. So whether it is a short story or a novel or um, some sort of like essay that you're writing, like there's ways to tailor it, um, give it personality and still make it your own. Um, but I think it is a, a, a so far a really neat tool to have. Um, I'm going to accept suggestion here. Just accepting everything. <laughs> and then press next. Let's see what we got. Chapter. So chapter one about the guy from Mars. Chapter two, uh, the apocalypse. The start, the start of everything. Uh, chapter three, the the survival. Uh, the end is about them finding about the government. It's as simple as I can. And with ChatGPT too, like the more you add, the more story that you build out, like give it some, some reference points. Is, it's it's enough to really help you get what you want this is just like a really tailored version so that you don't have to figure out how to ask ChatGPT to write for you you don't have to sit there and be like i i want this i want this this is designed so that you can just prompt you put in what you know you put in the information that you have any ideas that you might get and then the output is what you want. It's more of the outline of a story. So, so far, I think it's good. Um, this one's even giving you the chapter title, which is pretty neat. Very basic outline. I think this is good if you're outlining some stories. Um, I'm going to hit generate again, just so that we get something different. Uh, Nathan's arrival and not the Martian. So. I think that's that's pretty good. So yeah, if, if you don't like a certain generation, you can just redo it. And if you do like any of them, I do suggest like copy and paste right into your own document and then save it. And then you can mix and match what you do like, what you don't like. Um, you can retailer the prompt here. Uh, prompt here is very, very simple. I, I think that's what I like about this so far is that you don't know or you don't have to learn how to spell it out. You don't have to learn how to write everything. It does it for you. You just need to put in the usual things that you already think about when you're writing. So that to me is a win. Let's see how they write chapter one. So Nathan's arrival, huh? So I'm gonna go back to this right here and paste it in there and then click on generate to see if it does a story for me um generally a chapter is about like two to four thousand words so far i don't know how long this will get but i'll get back to you and <laughs> once it generates all right so for everybody who hates on this it doesn't really write the chapter for you it kind of gives you again like the basics of everything and then you can go in and expand on what you need and if you want i guess technically you can use other tools to expand on it but um writing of itself like i i think you still need your own element in it um to make it your very own language and to prevent it from going like pulling from a novel or something like that's that that's just me but so far i think i do um enjoy all of this um it works really really well but to write chapter one you saw that my tokens are now back to 5,000 I'm not sure how it works so uh, we can go around and check out what they have here I'm gonna click on upgrade so it tells you right here um, there are three different tiers the first tier is nine dollars a month so let's say ten dollars a month um 240,000 tokens you saw i did 25 roughly 10,000 per like word or so so if you plan to write a lot this might be the way and if you plan to use this for just helping you just write 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 a novel um for that share alone i think 35 dollars a month might work and again if you only spend a month on it rather than spend three years that's that might be really useful 
I think this tool is um, pretty good in terms of being able to help you get exactly what you want is getting the content that you want. So a thousand tokens is 750 words. Okay, so prompt, prompt system, how to get a discount, referral code. Um, okay, a satisfaction guarantee here. What payment methods? What, how much does book with cost? Mm, how can I upgrade all that stuff? So 10 million tokens. I wonder who writes that many. If, if that's you, then uh, definitely let me know. Um, but I think if you're interested in this and you're interested in checking it out, feel free to to give it a try and let me know what your thoughts are because I, I like the idea of it and I'm also excited to know what other apps there are, especially with ChatGPT being such like a powerhouse now. Um, this is only version 3, but if you have version 4 where it's like much better, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Thanks for watching.